Hello folks, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to share experience of citrus farming in Israel. Before start, I would like to appreciate everyone for subscribing in this channel. Subscribing to this channel make a huge difference. This channel works to educate and enlighten young farmer, small order farmer, agri lover, agripreneur on the border agriculture technology. In this episode, I'm going to discuss with you most common mistakes to avoid in citrus production. Number one mistake that farmers does, they just buy their seedling anywhere. It is very, very important to buy your seedling from certified nursery or from known nursery, which means the, nursery, the seedling, they can be free of disease. And also you are guaranteed the variety that you are going to harvest. It is the same variety that is indicated if you buy the seedling from a known nursery. This problem, you will find it after two years. After that two years, you already spent fertilizer, irrigation, so a lot of resource. To avoid this kind of loss, it's very important to consider buying from certified nursery or non nursery. And if you have any problem, you can go back to that nursery and also get their assistance. Number two, most mistake this farmer does, the farmer, they only apply the pesticide when they spot insect or disease. So it is a device to have preventive pesticide or spray before seeing insect or, uh, or disease. If you have that kind of program, you are sure that you're going to get high yield. If you wait the, to spot insect or disease, it might be late. You know, disease and insects weaken the plant. And if it weaken the plant, your, the plant can be weak. And if the plant is weak, also the yield can be less. If you want to get high yield, it's also very, very important to consider applying or making a program for preventive pesticide application. Also, in watering or irrigation, the most common mistake happened. This plant, it needs plenty of water. And most of farmers, what they do, they apply water frequently. So the irrigation is frequently. And by doing so, they encounter problem of nutrient deficiency. So if you don't want to have this problem of nutrient deficiency, so you must schedule or prepare, design well your irrigation schedule. But if you want to do so, first you need to install the tensiometer in the soil or instrument that can help you to know the moisture content of your soil. Because when you're applying the water, you don't just apply on top of the soil because most of the roots they're inside. So you're applying in the root zone. On top it can be, it can, it can seem it's dry, but inside it's still wet. And if there is too much wetness in the soil, these macronutrients, they cannot be available, which means they cannot be taken by your plants. So you apply your micronutrient and all get wasted. So to avoid this problem, you must schedule your irrigation. For instance, most of the irrigation in the citrus production, they can be done once or twice in a week. It depends the soil. If you have a, a schedule or program to water your orchard maybe once a week and in that program you run the drip irrigation or any kind of source of irrigation that you are using to apply. If you apply maybe for duration maybe of two hours, if you, you, you apply for two hours, you, you, you need to change for to up to four hours. If you apply for you extend your duration this help to keep moisture for a very long period of time and because the moisture can stay there in the root zone for a long period of time and also it can help this uh, nutrient to be uptaken with the plant if you schedule well you are sure that you will not have this kind of problem when it comes to fertilization Fertilization is very, very important. Most of farmers, 
they always apply fertilizer and especially this micronutrient magnesium iron so and the zinc so this no problem but they always forget to apply this macronutrient which is NPK because it is reproductive stage so why they apply nitrogen so it's very important to consider applying this uh, macronutrient such as NPK if you do so you are going to make your plant strong and if your plant is strong so it can keep head these fruits so you are sure that your fruits you're going to get a good fruit for instance you your program you're programming for for fertilizer maybe once or twice in a month so you can keep that schedule for applying this macronutrient zinc magnesium and boron that is it's okay but integrate just make a program to integrate at least once if it's twice a month at least once a month apply this macronutrient NPK this fertilizer with a source of nitrogen if you do so you are sure that you are going to have high heat so by saying so this mark end of my video if you find this video is useful in one way or another please give it a like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you in another episode bye